coming up in this video. Okay, Crystal. Uh, Mrs. Steele, I wrote this about Mrs. Brown. Well, it doesn't matter because you're out of time. Give me that paper. <gasps> so I guess this means no European trip. Well, at least you guys get to go. I guess we're gonna be in summer school forever. Yeah, and there goes our trip to Europe. You should try calling them now. Well, I don't know what makes you think you can tell me what to do in my classroom. Well, I'm the principal. I decide what goes on around here. These kids better appreciate my cooking. Okay, class, it's the end of the year and it's time to turn in your final reports. Remember, the topic is best teacher ever. And because I'm so fair, I'm giving you three minutes before the deadline to turn it in. Now, everyone, get in line. Now, who's first? Okay, Abby. Oh, this is all about me. I'm sure you'll get an A. Who's next? Okay, Zoe, let's see what you have. Ah. Oh, this is about Mrs. Vanderholt. Probably a D. Hopefully the next one's better than this. Okay, Mia, let's see what you got. Um, I have a question, Mrs. Dale. Was I supposed to write about you? No, I'm completely fair. This Paper doesn't have to be about me. Well, it seems like everyone that is not writing about you is going to get a D. Well, I make the grades around here, so are you ready to turn it in or not? Uh, um, can I make one really quick change, really quick? Okay, well that's fine as long as you get it in before the deadline, because I'm really fair. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Dale. Who is next? Okay, Crystal. Uh, Mrs. Steele, I wrote this about Mrs. Brown, but aren't you guys like really good friends? Well, it doesn't matter because you're out of time. Uh, well, what am I supposed to do now? Give me that paper. <gasps> My paper! Like I told you, it's too late. Uh, but I was right here, I only missed it by Five seconds! A deadline is a deadline! Who's next? Crystal's getting a zero on her paper because it was late. What will happen with the rest of the students? Here it is, Mrs. Dale, and guess who my favorite teacher is? I don't care, because it's too late! Here you go, Mrs. Dale. You're the best. Give me that thing. Okay, anybody else? Oh, of course Eli is late. Here you go, Mrs. Dale. I think you're gonna love this. I hope you would love a zero. I'm getting a zero? She can't be serious. You guys, what are we gonna do about Mrs. Dale? We wasted our semester for nothing. Well, she shredded our papers. There's nothing we can do. All we have to do is print another one. They can't let her get away with that. I heard she's been doing stuff like this for years. Principal Winston must let her get away with it. I can't believe what happened, you guys. She wouldn't really flunk you, would she? She would never do that. That would mean we have to do summer school. Huh, I wouldn't be surprised. If she makes you guys do summer school, then you guys can't go on our European trip. Should we postpone it? But we already have our tickets. And I've always wanted to go to Paris. And London. We should complain to the principal. Yeah, I bet he'll do something about it. 
Well, that's a waste of time. Yeah, if he hasn't done anything before, he's not gonna do anything now. Yeah, and what is this muddle teaching method anyway? Like, nobody knows. She says it's revolutionary. I think she's just lazy. Maybe just to keep us guessing. Or confused. I think she does it just to keep us guessing. Mrs. Dale is one tough cookie. Will the students report her to the principal? Or will their summer get ruined? Karen, what's this I hear from the rest of the staff? That you're not using the critical thinking method in your teaching? Critical thinking method? That's so old fashioned. I use the muddle method. I don't live in the past. Well, I'll have you know, here at Rebel High, we're standardized on the critical thinking method. It's the number one most used teaching style in the world. Well, the benefit of the model method is it adapts to each student's style. Adapts to their style? Don't you mean the students have to teach themselves? How are the students supposed to be successful in life if they only learn what other people tell them? That's so out of date, and my style is the future. Are you calling me old and out of date? I didn't say that. You did. I don't care what you said or I said or whatever. I want you to use the critical thinking method. I don't hear anything about this muddle nonsense. Here are your grades. I got an A. I only got a D. Well, that's still passing. You two passed, but the rest of you failed because you were too late. I tried to be nice and gave you three minutes, but you still messed it up. So, for those of you who got passing grades, congratulations. For those of you who didn't, I'll see you here for summer school all summer long. Any questions? I didn't think so. So I guess this means no European trip. Well, at least you guys get to go. No way. Then we're not going either. No, you guys should go. She's just gonna make us do some type of project and then we can catch up with you two. Really? You think so? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Why do you think they call her Mrs. Fail? Yeah, I mean, I agree with Crystal. We'll just be here for a couple more days. We can change our airline tickets. Okay, fine. But we're gonna call you to find out when you're done. That way you can meet up with us. Zoe and Abby get to go on their European trip. Will the other girls be able to catch up with them after summer school? Holy Airlines Flight 226 with non-stop service to Paris, France is now boarding at gate 45. Flight 226 to Paris, is that us? No, we're flying to London first, remember? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Paris is our second stop. Do you think Crystal and them will be able to meet us there? Yeah. I'm sure Mrs. Dale will go easy on them. With Dale the fail, probably not. Welcome everyone to summer school. Aren't we all excited? Ugh, how exciting. I should be in London right now. I should be hiking Everest. Yeah, well it's supposed to be Paris for me. I want to play Roblox. Final boarding call. Flight 222 with non-stop service to London Heathrow is now boarding through gate 17. Too bad that's not our flight. Yeah, it is! I have some bad news for you. We're not going to be doing any chemistry work. <laughs> oh, shucks. No chemistry? Guess we're not going to need these. Hey, careful with those. That school property, you want detention? We should give them a call when we land. Do you think our phones will work there? Oh, I never thought about that. 
You're all going to do a group project. It's going to take teamwork, and maybe you'll even learn something. Group project? That stinks. No, maybe we'll get done faster. Yeah, we'll divide it up. Then we can stop wasting time and go to Europe. The topic of your group project will be the comparison of teaching styles. Teaching styles? Yeah, I think she means hers versus good ones. You mean she has a teaching style? Yeah, it's called chaos and confusion. Mia's right, it's like when the tests have nothing to do with what was covered in class. It's not working at all. Did you try taking off the gloves? Oh, that's right. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> so, who all here can tell us the five teaching styles? Oh, I know. Okay, Eli, why don't you tell the rest? There's the good style and the other four. <laughs> No, and that's exactly why you're in summer school. No, I'm in summer school because of that stupid clock. Clocks aren't stupid, they're objects. People are stupid like some of my students. Okay, I'm curious, what are the five teaching styles? Yeah, that way we can get this over with. Oh, I, I'm glad you asked, Mia. Well, of course, there's the lecture-based method, inquiry-based. Kinesthetic, uh, the old-fashioned one, critical thinking. And there's the model method, which is the hot new thing! Well, I haven't heard of any of these. What are we supposed to do? Google it. <laughs> That's what I do. I think to make things easier, each one of you should take one of the five methods. Then what? Then come back and do a presentation and I'll pick the best one. Well, what happens then? After I pick the best one, that person will be excused, and the rest of you will start the next project for summer school. We're going to start with lecture-based. Who wants that one? Oh, lecture. I know what that is. Okay, Crystal. I'm glad you have experience with lectures. Oh, yeah. That's easy. I get lectured all the time. Okay, great. Now, who wants inquiry-based? Oh, I'll take that one. That, that means questions, right? Well, Mia, you tell us that when your report's done. Wow, the Eiffel Tower is bigger than I expected. Yeah, I have to send Mia a text of this. Now, who is brave enough to do kinesthetic? I'll do it. Well, good luck with that dead end, Luke. Did she text back? No, I think they're in class right now. Oh, it's still daytime there. And now who wants the icky one critical thinking theory? I already have one. Same. It's down to you two. You take it. Fine. Wait, no, I'll take it. A <laughs> fat chance on that one, Natalie. At least it could work for you, Eli, the model theory. The model theory? Good luck with that one, dude. Sounds like a Harry Potter character. You should try calling them now. 
Uh, I don't have any bars up here. <sighs> okay, well, that's it. You all have three days to do your reports. And one of you will be dismissed from summer school. And the rest of you, not named Eli, will be here for the rest of the summer. Mrs. Dale expects a report from every student. There has to be a way for them to skip summer school. Okay, now it is time for your presentations on the different teaching styles. The four of them and the one good one. Wow, it's so pretty here. You should try now. Oh, okay. It's ringing. Oh, hello? Hi, Crystal, it's Abby and Zoe. Oh, wow, are you guys having fun? It's really fun. It would be more fun if you were here. Yeah, I wish we could come instead of being stuck at summer school. Do you think you can meet us in Italy? We sure hope so. Us too. Bye. So in summary, the muddle method is teaching through fear, uncertainty, and doubt. In other words, it's teaching based on utter confusion. It's completely up to the student to learn it on their own. Eli, that presentation was perfect. You get an A+. Plus. And for the rest of you, you all flunk and have to continue on with summer school. I can't believe it. I guess we're gonna be in summer school forever. Yeah, and there goes our trip to Europe. Congrats, bro. I guess you don't have to do summer school anymore. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, what was that about? The muddle method? Nobody's even ever heard of that. Yeah, I know. Piece of cake. How'd you figure that out? There was only one article on it. And guess who wrote it? No way. Don't tell me. Mrs. Dale? Yep, it was her. No wonder she acted like all the others were no good. Well, we need to do something about her. Oh, hey, kids. What are you still doing in school? We're in summer school. Yeah, Mrs. Fail is making us do it. Mrs. Fail? Who's that? Yeah, it's Mrs. Dale. That's what all the students call her. Yeah, master of the muddle. The muddle method? How do you know about that? Well, she made us do a research assignment about it. And we all failed. Except me. Why did you all fail? Because she thinks every other teaching method stinks. Yeah, and that students should learn on their own. And I don't think that's teaching. Really? Eli, why did you pass? Well, because my report was on the muddle method. And she's biased. I can't believe it. You know what? I'm overriding her. You all pass. I don't want to see any of you here again all summer. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yes. 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 And I believe I'm going to have a talk with Mrs. Fail. Tell her we said bye. <laughs> yeah, she can go climb a mountain. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Give her a cheerio. And au revoir. <laughs> is so cool. <gasps> I just got a text from Crystal. What's it say? They're coming! <laughs> you wanted to see me, Principal Winston? Why, yes, Karen. I've been speaking to the students, and I have some concerns. Don't listen to them. They don't know what they're doing. That's why they're in summer school. The only reason they don't know what they're doing is because of the way you're teaching them. I'm not teaching them, I'm using the motto method. You mean the method where you don't teach? They have to learn on their own? The one that's based on fear, uncertainty, and doubt? Oh, you're getting familiar with it. I'm impressed. Oh, I'm familiar. Good. Then are you ready to switch the whole school to it? No. What I told you is, here at Rebel High, we use the critical thinking method, and you didn't listen. Well, I don't know what makes you think you can tell me 
what to do in my classroom. Well, I'm the principal. I decide what goes on around here. And if you think you have a better idea, I've got a new job for you. What? You're making me the new principal? Well, I'd be satisfied just being the vice principal. That's not exactly the job I had in mind. But let's just say you're not going to be in the classroom anymore. I can't believe he made me the new lunch lady. These kids better appreciate my cooking. The principal punished Mrs. Dale by making her the new lunch lady. What would you do with her?